Alright, today I'll be reviewing this Shang Tao Ling Long 3x3. And it's a mini 46mm 3x3. First I'll go off over the box. Here's the front, side, back, this side, bottom. But here's some interesting things that I found about the box. On the bottom it said clear thinking smart rotation and the top speed creating creating in the hand. That's just a little bit weird. And then uh, over here. This Shang Tao cube, although the overall size is reduced, but the use of a variety in advanced structural not only make the player perform with a super stable positioning things silk, silky smooth and light especially super fault taller not K N O T structure but also make the player feel even more powerful achieve your outstanding results. That that's like funky English. It's English but not proper English grammar and also some stupid incorrect links. Spelled word and stuff like that. But it's kind of funny how they said it. But yeah. Here's the top. If you... This is Shang Tao Ling Long 3x3. This is gonna be part of Shang Tao um, Ling Long series where they're making mini cube. Ling Long is a mini cube. Ling, Ling Long in Chinese stands for mini or small. It just means smaller than normal. So, turning of this is fantastic. When I first got it, it was like really tight and I couldn't even pop out an edge so you all if you saw the unboxing yeah but yeah overall this is a really good 3x3 wanna cut about almost line to line reverse corner cutting barely any that's because of the tension settings that I have it on alright so the mechanism of this The core in there is like a standard normal 3x3 three three size core like you, what you would find on a Diane um, CNT or any other 57mm cube and here's the corner now I did mod this and here's the picture of what I did to mod it plus I also did the 48 point edge mod which also helped this um, help the cube turn really good. And then, if you can tell, there's these dimples, um, which, or a lot of people are referring to this as golf ball type dimples, because that's what you would find on a golf ball. And what it helped for the golf ball, the reason why the golf ball has these dimples is because while it's flying through the air, it'll cause less air resistance and make it more smoother through the air and fly smoother through the air. And I think that's what will happen to that, to this cube. But it, it's the very first time we've actually seen that kind of implement, in that type of design on a 3x3 three three type cube. Yeah. And this cube is really good. Like comparing it to some of the other cubes, like this this torpedo that's built in is like actually built in comparing to like a Diane cube where the torpedo is like you have to split the edge to get the torpedo out and so on and so forth. But the um link Shang Tao Ling Long edges are like one entire piece 
and the torpedo is built in and not just a separate piece we have slide in between the the two edge halves and all that yeah and it I found the things out Ling Long cube to be a really good travel cube like a really good travel cube as in like you can bring it um to travel on traveling trips or just bring it around um in your pocket put it in your pocket and stuff like that bring it around um small enough to fit in your pocket easily and it's good enough that it would still be considered a worthy speed cube and it's really good for traveling if you want to learn algorithms on the go it's good for that and comparing it in size to 42 millimeters Zancy it's like about maybe um, four millimeters in difference compared to these and then comparing it to a 57 millimeter cube it's like about 11 millimeters difference yeah um the speed of it is really good it's really quiet if you can tell hear that it's very quiet compared to like something like a hong Yeah, it's very quiet. It's one of the quietest cubes that I have. Um, the most resemblance type cube that I have that it feels and sounds a lot like is my BQ3. Yeah. And it's... And the Shang Tsung Ling Long is overall a really good cube. Most stores would have it like around five, like around four to six dollars. Most stores would sell them at four to six dollars. But for me, I actually got it for free test, and I'm in like, wow, I'm really liking this cube. It's like one of the best cube out there for um mini, one of the best mini cubes out there besides the mini forty two million dancing. And I've also found it use very extremely useful for one-handed solving. It's my new one-handed main three by three. Just because of the size of this cube and just of how well it turned and all that. Every single layer of it turns really well. Middle layers turn really well. Outer layers turn really well. It's just an overall good cube. Seekers are in really good stay condition. And yeah. It's just an overall good cube. Um. I would give it like. An A. For overall design. And the overall um, speed. And savability and all that. I've rarely even had any pops on it. So pop. Or like. Not. A thing on this th cube, depending on how well you tension it. I've had some pops on it, but it was not like a pop during the solve. It was like pop while I was um, figuring out the correct tensions and all that. And so, so yeah, this is an overall really, really, really good cube. I highly recommend it if you're looking for a good cube for traveling or just a good mini cube that you. We want to have around and not carry around like a huge honking 57 millimeter cube. Yeah.